So before I get really into it, let me explain to you how DC confinement works in the state of Florida. So a guy like that is in CM, closed management. But DC confinement and closed management, which is disciplinary confinement, connect in a butterfly dorm. And it's in an area called the Triangle. This is where the most corrupt, violent, sadistic guards are at their playground. Look it up. Look up the story of Ricky Martin and so many others. They have a thing called the gladiator fights. What that was is they were sending other inmates into the cell of their enemies or people with fucked up charges and they would fight for 15 minutes. Some dudes would die. Some dudes would never be the same. Horrendous shit was going on back there. And what they would do is send your ass to another part of this little triangle with the other guards that were involved. It got so bad the FBI came and shut the shit down and an officer killed himself because he didn't want to face prosecution. Yes, I have been part of some of these gladiator fights and been locked in there with people that have fucked up charges or just people that I got paid to fight for those 15 minutes. At the time, I compartmentalized it by saying I'm giving back to society by just getting rid of these evil motherfuckers, you know? But really, I just wanted to feel something because you're locked down there so long, you ain't have no toilet paper to wipe your ass for a month. Guards are killing inmates left and right. You're just seeing them fly off the tier. You're on property restriction. It's the middle of winter. You wiped your ass and your bed sheets are so small because they're not doing laundry. You're barely eating back there. The guards are just as corrupt. They're bringing in dope, tobacco, whatever it is. And it's triple price back there. So there's no cameras. This shit goes down every single day in Florida. So the reality of the situation is there's no cameras. I had 100% confidence to talk to this guard to try to get moved into this piece of shit cell so I could give back to society by letting him feel vulnerable like he made his victims feel. So the officer tells me straight up, let me see what I can do. He comes back later on and says, I can't put you in his cell. He said, I tried, but it's all going to fall on me because he's such a high profile inmate. So this dude is down with the sickness. He hates these fucking creeps. And I know this. That's why I stepped to him. He says, the best thing I can do is put you in the cell next to him. And when the shower doors come and they pop the cells for the, you know, to come out, extract to, to go sh to shower on Monday, I will get you close enough to him to where you can handle your business, get some shots in, hurt him, whatever. Knowing this, I'm down with this. But for that whole weekend, I listened to this psychopath talking to the vent. Sadistic, narcissist, psychopath talking about his victims, his cases. People are yelling and screaming at him that they're going to hurt him. But he just keeps going on because he loves it. He feeds off the negative energy. So I'm planning my strategy on how this is going to go down because it's going to be on the middle second tier. He's going on about his disgusting charges. Monday comes around. 